Hello everyone. Welcome to the Accounting Club. I'm a DU alumna. I graduated in May of 2013 from the accounting program with both my Master's of Accountancy as well as my Bachelor's. My name is Alexis Tenoy. I started the Accounting Corps in January of 2013 and graduated in March of 2015 with both my Bachelor of Science in Accounting and my Master of Accountancy. My name is Andrew McGlasky. I graduated from the University of Denver in the fall of 2015 with my bachelor's and my master's in accounting. The Financial Accounting Standards Board, or FASB for short, is an independent organization that establishes financial accounting standards for non-governmental entities. The FASB is an organization that essentially sets the rules for accounting. Each year, the FASB invites a group of recent graduates to work for them for one year as a postgraduate technical assistant, also known as a PTA. At the FASB, I will be a postgraduate technical assistant, which is a position that helps project managers on the various agenda items that the FASB is working on. It's a unique opportunity from the standpoint that you are coming at the same time with a handful of other students in very similar position who are from great universities across the U.S. and we all moved to Connecticut for one year and so you really bond and not only do you work together, a lot of PTAs live together and we certainly travel up and down the East Coast while we're there for that year and so it really, the year flies by because it's, it's both incredible from a work standpoint and a life standpoint. value coming out of the DU program and transitioning into my role as a PTA was the focus that we had in school on presentation and communication. At the FASB, I very often would have to communicate with project managers, different stakeholders views, and talk through pros and cons on different sides of issues. You do present in front of the FASB board at the meetings. So you are on camera and you present various topics. So the focus in the classroom at DU at the end of each quarter and the presentations, while it can be nerve-wracking, it was certainly a set of skills that I put to use almost immediately at the FASB. I applaud you for starting the core this quarter and I think you will find that it is one of the most challenging yet most rewarding experiences from your time at DU. One thing I will say as a piece of advice is to work in groups and work in different groups throughout the the core. You will never not work in groups in your career, so the core is a great opportunity. You all will be friends and even family by the time you finish three quarters from now, so groups really helped me get through it and I, I think that they could help you too. My advice to you is to keep a positive attitude and really get to know your peers in the core. As cliche as it sounds, you're all in this together and studying is far more enjoyable when you do it as a group. Fall Accounting Corps, I immediately got involved with Beta Alpha Psi and started going through the recruiting process. Beta Alpha Psi is hugely instrumental in terms of the next steps. Where do you go after the core? You want to have your internship lined up and Beta Alpha Psi is certainly to keep that. It's also just important to be involved with the School of Accountancy overall and Beta Alpha Psi is an avenue for that as well. Another great opportunity is to become a TA in the accounting program. That's certainly an invaluable experience. It's important to maintain relationships with your professors. They are all advocates for your success and you will perform better in the classrooms if you utilize the fact that they're so willing to help. My senior year, I completed a busy season audit internship in Denver. And although I'm no longer working in audit, that experience really did help me with where I am now at the PASB. My summer audit internship with KPMG here in Denver was a really great experience in transitioning from being a student to working in a professional setting and really applying what I've learned and seeing how it all kind of fits into the working world. During my junior year, I interned with a large international accounting firm and I found that experience very helpful when looking towards the FASB because it gave me a perspective of accounting from a professional sense rather than an academic sense. When you 
first have an internship, you learn how to take what you learn in the classroom and actually apply it in the real world setting. It becomes clear that even though things are nice and clean in a textbook, in the real world it doesn't always work that way. So you learn how to work through those issues. So I was first introduced to the opportunity at the FASB by talking to a previous graduate and also completed the, the program. And then I talked to the School of Accountants to fill out an application. And once I was granted an interview, went out to Connecticut to have the interview and found out a couple months later that I had been accepted to the position. I left my day of interviews at the FASB really excited and hopeful for the opportunity. It was just a day that really opened my eyes to see kind of that intersection of what I had learned in school and some of my classes like business valuations and um, financial cases and courses where we, we dove into the accounting standards codification and we looked at some great areas and then to go to the FASB and to hear about the different projects that they cover and the stakeholders that they talk to, it was an opportunity to see all of this in play. Every PTA is put on one major project typically and you really focus and hone in on that project throughout the year so that you're able to be involved with the different stakeholders and the constituents that that project reaches out to and talks to throughout that year. And during my time here I've gotten to work on a wide variety of projects. Some of the more notable ones that I've worked on include the business combination projects on goodwill, intangibles, and the definition of a business. I'm also a part of the Merging Issues Task Force. It's a neat opportunity. You do not touch every project at the FASB during the PTA program, but you really get to dive in and work closely with the team that you're with. There are a variety of career paths available to those who earn a degree in accounting. About halfway through my year as a PTA, there is a formal recruiting process that takes place at the FASB. However, we are not recruited from the FASB into a standard audit position. Typically, it's more of an advisory role that they're looking to bring us in. And that really is because the skills that we learn at the FASB are very research-based and um, are looking at a lot of gray areas, as I've mentioned, and different transactions. And you're, you're really getting into some of the technical accounting pieces. So that naturally kind of translates into the next phase being more of a transaction-based or technical accounting role. I had initially planned on working as an auditor, but this experience has shown me that there are a lot of other options available. Typically, PTAs leave the program and go on to work in public accounting, usually in an accounting advisory role, but other PTAs have also gone on to work in industry or even for investment banks. Through the, the advisory recruiting process at the FASB, um, we are able to meet with the different firms and look at a variety of cities, should that be the interest. For those that are not interested in necessarily coming back to a big four firm, there are also other opportunities that you can seek out in the recruiting process at the FASB. 